Greetings inner space travellers. Now things are about to go a little wild with our next text. Thomas Dishes 334. Warning, warning, warning. Sex, drugs, rock and roll. But a fantastic, fantastic novel that is definitely worth reading. The book is actually made up of five novellas that um, were published separately at first, but in 1972 were published as 334. The stories centre around characters that live in an apartment block um, in Manhattan on 334th Street. The stories are actually set in the year 2021. The book is quite prescient in its prediction of things not being great. But what is hopeful, perhaps, or interesting about the book is that the stories offer various types of coping mechanisms or at least imaginative alternatives to abjection. Uh, this is the uh, Sphere edition, and this has a fake-out cover. So if you can see, this has a, uh, I guess, spaceship in deep space by the looks of things. Uh, I don't think this really has any <laughs> relation to anything in the book itself, but it's a good example of a sort of pulpy type publishing graphic design choices for science fiction covers that are often wildly inaccurate when you consider what's actually in the text. And I will read you the praise on the back cover to give you a compelling snapshot of what it's about. New York in 2021 AD, an overpopulated world where women marry each other, where men may become mothers, and where only couples with high IQs can have children. A terrifying world of disintegrating human relationships dominated by an insidious welfare state. Now, it's important to note that uh, Dish himself was gay. It doesn't mean that obviously gay writers can't express homophobic themes in their works, but I don't think that's happening in this case. And the welfare state that is demonized is not so much one that is invested in providing a safety net for its residents, but one that is directly determining who can reproduce um, how they can reproduce and who enjoys, um, you know, social standing and mobility in society and who does not. There's been a lot of emphatic finger pointing and gesticulating in this video, which is to say that 334 is a very thought provoking novel and uh, I hope you enjoy it as much as I did. As always, do let us know what you think. This is Phoenix Alexander signing off.